Our platform is growing and expanding. All of you know we started with an inline cloud where we could inspect things to keep you safe, right party talking to right party. And then we built posture control for SaaS data, for public cloud data, making sure that they are not misconfigured, making sure the right permissions and right everything. And then with all that telemetry we have been collecting, we actually now have an AI cloud we're building a lot of things on. And this is made available, not just for users, now for workloads, IoT, OT, and B2B. All these entities need to talk to each other. We are leveraging the same core Z-scalar technology to make it happen. So cyber threat protection. In this case, I talked about three major areas. Minimizing your attack surface, preventing compromise, and eliminating lateral movement. If you think in these three terms, your cyber gets better. Rather than thinking about, do I have an IPS, do I have a NAC, do I have this thing, do I have that thing? What are we doing in this area? With our ZPA technology, we minimize your attack surface, not by selling you a DDoS technology or WAF, one more firewall, one more IPS, but simply hiding your application behind Zscaler. So they can't be discovered from the internet, they can't be attacked, becomes very good. Prevent compromise. Uh, you have been using Zscaler internet access for quite a while. Now it's powered by AR, but has a bunch of technologies to really make sure whether it's phishing or it's malware attacks, we use a number of techniques from sandboxing to DNS controls to various kind of other controls. The key thing is SSL inspection done at scale and we do it better than anybody else out there because we designed our system for that. <clears throat> so preventing compromise is critical. Attack, uh, sorry, lateral threat movement is the biggest problem enterprises are facing. You talk to any customer who has had a breach, chances are 90% that lateral threat movement played a role. And guess what? To solve it, they buy a bunch more firewalls and boxes to build network segments and all. The goal is really to go away and look at a zero trust architecture where you connect entity to entity rather than putting them on the network without worrying about network segmentation. You can actually do user to app segmentation. So only certain users can go to certain apps, not everyone else. Okay. You could further do app to app segmentation using our cloud connector technology where you can say data center to cloud connection is through zero trust. Cloud to cloud connectivity is through zero trust. And even inside the cloud, you can have zero trust connectivity. Now, a few new innovations, ITDR, this is identity threat detection and response, is natural for us to provide on top of it all we're building. Attack surface management, we have been minimizing it, there's some more tools and services coming in that area. And RISC 360, a holistic view of the risk. These are some of the very exciting things among a number of other things we've done in the cyber threat protection area. The next area all of us worry about is protecting data. Data is fundamental with everything being digitized. Data can be very easily stolen. I mean, it's essentially a few clicks away. So in this area, we look at data protection in three buckets. The first one, discovery and classification data, whether it's sitting in your data center or public cloud or sitting in SaaS applications. How about understanding the posture of the data and then making sure data doesn't leak and exfiltrate? We had done a lot of work in these three areas. Discovery, for example, we have done some recent innovations in using AI ML technology to automatically classify your data, whether these are legal documents, finance documents, medical documents, the like, it automatically figures out. In fact, can do that in line as the traffic is going out. And a bunch of hardcore technologies like exact data match, EDM, index data match, OCR for recognizing uh, optical characters, and integration Microsoft information uh, protection. All these are things that have been done 
to make sure you can discover and classify your data. The second area, posture control. Making sure your data in SaaS application, which is more and more, is being taken care of. Making sure your data in cloud is taken care of. The whole CNAP, CSPM, CIM type of offerings are available for Zscaler. And data exfiltration, the DLP technology we have been building for several years. We do a great job with inline inspection. We got tagging technology, full TLS inspection to do that. And what we introduced in the past couple of years is our browser isolation, where you can actually stream pixels and pixels only. No data gets down out there. These innovative cases help you actually replace VDI, which is often a pretty expensive solution sitting in your data center. And most customers, most users find VDI too slow. Okay. So a, a quick glimpse of DLP innovations. Endpoint DLP, our customer asked for over the years. It's here. Email DLP is here. CNAP, everyone talks about CNAP. No one talks about CNAP integrated with workload communication. That's what we have done as a unique functionality. And scanning contents and VMs for sensory data. So, zero trust connectivity. Our, our job is to make it easy and simple <clears throat> and really use any network simply as the transport and plumbing without having to worry about route table management and the like. <clears throat> but there are four key things you should think about when you think about zero trust architecture for the networking. Applications are merely destination. They're not resources on the network. Think about it. A network is simply a transport. Security is decoupled. You don't need to worry about network security. You need to secure the right entity to right entity. And you connect to specific applications. <clears throat> and you don't need to worry about having a route table network, or managing routes. Think of 30,000 branches or 10,000 branches managing routes. What if those branches could be just like your home? You don't manage routes at home. <clears throat> That's the kind of stuff we're talking about where your branch office becomes like Starbucks. <clears throat> so we make sure you have connectivity for your users for various locations and even cloud. I do want to highlight some of the new innovations we've done in this area. You know, we have used connector technology to really client connector to get traffic to you, to, to Zscaler Cloud from wherever you are. We had used some of the other connectors from cloud and branch. Our customers kind of said for the branch, you give me this VM, but I don't have a place to put something on it for traffic forwarding. So though I tried to stay away from hardware for a long, long time, listening to our customers, we are announcing a plug and play appliance for a branch connector. This little box will be able to host our branch connector so that you simply drop the branch connector, this box up there. It auto discovers the cloud, connects provisions literally under 10 minutes. You're up and ready. No routes to be managed. None of that stuff is done. <clears throat> we work with all the networking vendors. So our goal is not to be in the networking business, but make it easy for you to get traffic as easily as possible and eliminate lateral tech movement. We have had the connector available as a VM. If you have large offices, <clears throat> many of our customers are using that option already. The fourth area, business insights. With 300 billion transactions a day, hundreds of billions of trillions of telemetry a day. There's a lot of business insights we got, and a customer said, you need to help us give some more valuable information out of this. So business insights based on AI cloud has become our next big focus area. You'll see here a lot more about it. But let me start by inviting Sham Nair, who is our CTO who joined us recently, to join me on stage to talk about some of the AI cloud and uh, the Business Insights area. Thank you, Jay. These days, 
when I talk to CIOs or CTOs or CXOs or any practitioner, there's one thing in their mind. They want to use advanced AI capabilities, generative AI. How do I use them safely and securely? By safely and securely, it means how do I really leverage it so that none of my data is lost or data is leaked? One of the often overlooked part of generative AI as it has advanced is prompt and prompt engineering. The data you provide in prompt, the context you provide there are often sensitive data. This is data that is going to be used for training. How do I make sure that I protect that data? I protect the data from being used as well as its intellectual property that is not going to be used in terms of training models in public domain. This is where zero trust and the need of zero trust for AI applications comes into being. Oftentimes, I like to talk about there are two, few, two characteristics that are critical for an AI platform. Number one, users. Number two, data. More users, more data, more value. And that's a force multiplier in itself. At Zscaler, with over 300 billion transactions and data and metadata around these transactions being captured into logs, creating a data fabric, connecting both structured and unstructured data, as well as data that is, or metadata that is part of the URLs, gives us a data fabric on top of which our own custom <clears throat> domain models and our expertise in uh, zero trust exchange, as well as cybersecurity becomes a force multiplier for us to build these AI ML applications. With the advancements of generative AI, we have started to look at what additional capabilities can we provide in our zero trust exchange. A few examples include, today, everybody talks about co-pilots, assistance. So Zscaler Navigator actually enables natural language interface for our administrators. Multimodal DLP <coughs> helps data leak protection in text, audio, video, and images. We are using our own trusted LLMs based on our own log data for advanced breach protection. So as we move forward, we need a zero trust partner, a zero trust platform for enabling the use of advanced AI and ML. And I look forward to be that partner for you and actually scaling this journey of AI ML and zero trust. Other exciting areas where I hear from a number of our customers, micro branches. How long does it take for you to set up a new branch office? After you get the building and all, IT itself requires a few months. I need to order the circuit. I need to order a router. I need to order a firewall, this, that, etc. Now customers are simply able to do this thing in a matter of days or weeks or even, even hours. Micro branches for banks. We got banks who are working with us. Their micro branch is becoming cashless. Essentially, a couple of laptops or, or tablets with Zscaler agent, with 4G SIM card in it, connects to our cloud, talks to banking application. You can have the branch up and running in hours. Think of it. That's what makes IT progressive. That's what makes you heroes in the eyes of your management. Not trying to say, I need to keep on the same old network I've had for 30 years. Uh, warehouses. I have seen customers, this customer in Australia, set up a warehouse uh, for IT access, literally very quickly. Again, Android-powered scanner with Zscaler agent with a 4G SIM card, connects to Zscaler Cloud ZPA, which in turn talks to uh, SAP inventory applications. Think of how well, how fast you can do some of these things. Retail stores are becoming essentially cashless, simply powered by Zero Trust ZPA technology. And the newest one, you're working with a few oil and gas companies, uh, charging stations are being set up. These guys will have thousands of charging stations. They need to be monitored, telemetry needs to be sent back. What's the traditional way? I'm gonna set up a VPN connection, so 10,000 of these stations are on my corporate network. Okay. Using Zscaler Zero Trust Technologies with simple connector, sitting as an SDK in your charging station. Can it actually give you everything you need on any network, which could be 3G, 4G, broadband, or Starlink? Doesn't matter. These are the things we can help you make it happen. We're doing all this 
to go back to what I said early on, to empower your business, to make sure you have full security, simplicity with consolidation, standardization, automation, and productive business with great experience, agility, and even things like M&A time to value.